why am I doing this stuff here? Why am I doing this? It's not an obsession. Don't worry about it. It's because it was so much brainwash. This is a brainwash that started in 2008. And it lasted all the way to 2020. So that's 12 years of what I was told is going to be the last news about the princess from Thailand. That's her sister, Siri Vanavari, who told me that I have to pay a special attention to what you see on the right side under her eye is. It would significant here. Here my ass. Tear was, in my eyes, were tears. And I find it interesting that it, it's not the first time through. It's not the first time. I saw this already before it happened. It says right here, Baida Kitiapa is welcome here and always will be by Bastian Auser. This is the video I have posted on a daily motions and on YouTube and on other occasion, uh, other locations. I have no idea just how many times. There you go. It was on, a, on a April the 12th, 2023 when I was fighting, struggling with myself, uh, just didn't know what to do with it. I found myself, this is a video in a world of memories. There's so many memories surrounding me about this family from Thailand that I didn't know what to do with myself. I definitely at least wanted to meet her or whatever the case was. Um, I was so stupid. I actually even, uh, I'm not going to get into it. Um, this, this is, um, this is a horror for me. This is a horror. This woman appeared, whenever this woman appeared on the picture, and there was no woman other that I approached during MK Ultra, fed up absolutely with everything, absolutely with everything, with yes and no, and yes and no, and yes and no, with so many excuses, so many lies that I demanded on several occasions, I even proposed her in 95, in 96, in 97. Uh, I really did propose her when she got also a driver license. I think she got a driver license in 99. Uh, that I went brain dead. Actually, uh, looking at her, uh, I started to see uh, all the Asian women through her. Basically, it left me traumatized. Uh, whenever I would see a beautiful Asian woman, uh, it's this picture that popped up in my eyes. She popped up in my eyes. Her aunt, aunts, uh, she popped up in my eyes. Uh, I, I just they developed in me some kind of complex. Uh, this is a complex there is nowhere written about in no psychiatric book or anything like this about nobody talks about this stuff. That's why I'm going to speak about this stuff today. Um, heh. Yeah. So many issues they build into this into this stuff uh, that you see some really I, I I saw the most beautiful Asian woman there is 
from Japan to China to Philippines and uh, Indonesia and all this area, Vietnam, uh, Burma, all this area. Uh, I really admired for the beauty, but as soon as I recalled the memory on her, uh, with a, such a mixed uh, <laughs> ocean of emotions, some were violent, some were pleasant, some were uh, literally to dignify me. You, you couldn't dignify me more than if I proposed the woman, basically. And got some kind of funny excuses and then scattered through the beatings all over the place. You couldn't fuck me more than this. And everything functioned well. Everything functioned well for me uh, till she popped up on a picture again. And that's why it's, I will speak about this stuff, about this phenomena. Everything functioned well for me till she popped up on a picture. Uh, I don't know when I, this year, earlier this year, when I, uh, when I, I, I pay attention to this family. I don't know what month was it, January, February, March. I think it was March or May, I think. And once she popped up on a picture, no matter how much I wanted to see the Asian woman, uh, it, it was just gone, boy. I was sad and pissed off at the same time uh, and felt sorry for her uh, and in a way miss her and so on and so forth. This is a crazy, bad, crazy shit that British royals, the evil from London was the one who tutored them on how to do this stuff. So this is just what I want to say maybe in this video. Um, I published here on my new site, there was a, it was like this throughout my entire uh, MK Ultra. It was like this throughout my entire MK Ultra. It was just, it, it, it was always the same thing. Always was the same thing. Throughout my entire MK Ultra, uh, I, this family from Thailand confused me and caused me unprecedented harm. This is unprecedented harm because it, it, it did not go only to whack the relationship. There were so many beautiful ladies that were interested in having a relationship with me, but they ruined literally Asian perception on a female beauty in my eyes. So this is totally, totally fucked up. I have written about how this MK Ultra, how it all this stuff ended. This stuff ended with this girl here that you see. Uh, eventually issuing me a threats, death threats, that she would go extra mile uh, if I would talk about her daddy. And I did wrote about one time, just so you know, uh, her sister, this is a city of Anavari, and look what they are doing. They are placing, they are placing, they are placing They're placing under her name. A picture of her sister to screw me up even more. Uh, and yeah, whatever it is, I never was here to cause her any harm or any damages. Absolutely not. But
This picture here is bad enough. This picture here, when I was suggested that it's the money that I want, uh, maybe the ladies think different than men. Yeah, maybe ladies are more emotional. Uh, they are more um, family oriented and so on, but not this one. This is a lawyer that stressed in my face with her father that you see right there, the one of the wealthiest people in the world. That all I want in this world is money because I posted on my news page, the Ulster Times, a donation page. My banking account numbers, a donation, and so on. And at the time when I did this, I was inside of the psychiatric hospital. Uh, I didn't know from today to tomorrow if I'm going to be alive. Something I started in 2006, in 2007, at my disappointment upon return from the United States of America, where I again found myself in, in the world of violence here in Slovenia, which I departed in 1995. Therefore, after 11 and a half years, spanning abroad, never returning back to Slovenia, I found the same shit, the same chaotic shit as the one to prior to my departure to the United States. Couldn't believe that nothing changed. Something I started in 2006, 7, uh, with a book, It's a free world, title, it's a free world between, between truth and something else. I don't know what, I don't, I, I didn't even go pay attention anymore to the, to the work I did. It's a free world. Um, I deemed it's going to take me five years, the most to walk this route of death yeah should come out the in a worst case scenario which you know five years folks you want to go and throw away five years of life i do not i hope it's going to be finished within year two about my submission to complain to united nations is going to be finished but it turned into a fucking nightmare in 2013, instead, six years later, I was thrown inside a psychiatric hospital with these people here as one of the main sponsors of it, ridiculing me, gesturing even I am a mentally ill, that my uh, views already closely match of those who are mentally ill. Not that I was mentally ill, but that certain views already are closely matching of those of mentally ill people. And I'm sure they did, because I know that I chose such patterns deliberately to get myself out of the problems as fast as possible. I did not anticipate they wanted these problems to destroy me just so much. I had no idea about this stuff. I do acknowledge that certain views I had uh, were the views that were the end, dead end street. I, I totally acknowledge that. I approximated myself to uh, through what is known as right to a Nazism more than what I possibly could dream of would be possible in whatever I did. This is as far as I got, because I thought that bringing the issues like this, uh, steering the hatred against those 
that would that should never ever allow something like this to happen for them to see what happens when you side with the people that brought a mass genocide upon humanity in the past would eventually resolve in a fast solution of the problems if at nobody else at the United Nations. And I was dead wrong. In 2013, <laughs> through what they sponsored, nothing out of uh, a word of lies against me, I found myself inside of the psychiatric hospital. And the suffering is unprecedented. It's impossible to describe what they have done to me. Now, for me to go and publish a donation page on my page, on my personal blog page, and I have the money to print the books and hand them to the people, whatever. But in this virtual space of bullshit, of this insanity we live in, that you would go as far as ridiculing somebody, even for trying to save himself from certain death. How many people walked out from situation I was in? None. Nobody alive ever escaped from the violent world of psychiatry. Nobody ever did. Once they get you, the life expectancy is really, really short. Uh, for you to suggest that I'm interested in studying love, being you as a lawyer from what some people claim even the wealthiest family in the world, I find this like utterly disgusting. Repulsive as it gets. And if I wanted to really, when I did grab this guy here in my hands, that much for this Siri Navari, Siri Vanavari, uh, she was appointed as a she was appointed as a head of the Thailand military. Yeah, the stuff I'm talking to you about that she threatened me that if you're gonna talk about against the daddy and this and that, these are all daddy's girls. These girls, these are all daddy's girls. Here, but this picture she's still posing here with psychiatric picture. This picture here. It's so easy to this was the account that was used at large that brings us to a dating service which also was involved in MK Ultra Yes, this thing is You gotta hustle, you gotta be tough. Very secure, yeah. Yeah, this like, guy is gonna woo you. MK Ultra, all that stuff, yeah. Um, You know how it works with the Thai royals? You see this picture here? You see this picture here? Do you see this picture here? I'm going to tell you how it works with the Thai royals. It's, it was the same shit like with all politicians, other politicians. With them, it was worse. This picture here, what I'm going to tell you is, before I was delivered to Thailand, which the before I was delivered to Thailand was in the Thailand. This was in the Thailand. That's how they wanted to portray before I was delivered to the Thailand. I was severely tortured with exactly the people you see right there. These people wear more silicon masks than anybody else I know of involved in MKUltra. They made sure that when they made the pose like you see right there, 
You see the pose that it's like, look, it looks like evil. It was about the only time they were really nice to me. So when you say that, if I would say, oh, well, you know, it was all one fucking session. They always tortured and then they place you in a picture with somebody nice. And even that picture about the nice, they camouflaged in exactly what you see here so that I would say whatever you would say. So those who participated, they would have different proofs and so on. That's how it works under MKUltra. Look at this here. These people think they know more than I do about what they were doing. Now, bon, uh, what we're going to do is I'm just going to go to this here, to this picture here. I'm not going to be looking this through the internet. And I'm going to demonstrate you the same thing. So you see basically how it works. I know the MK Ultra on in and out better than, better than, thousand times better than what they, these liars that they did this stuff. They think they can get away with that this is just like this. You can just do to the person. You drug him up and then you do. And the person doesn't know from who is who. It doesn't work like this here. I know that you have done this to many other people, but I am not other people. I am. Really, I am different. I could actually count how many times you have used these same tricks, these same ways. Uh, okay. You see this picture here? Do you see this picture here? This picture here? This is what Andrzej Duda stated me. We'll post like this on the internet to depict, and he did this always, they did this stuff in a public where other people are present. And they video recorded absolutely everything they say, everything they do. Today, you do not, you do not defend, you don't even have the right to defend yourself with the court like a human being in today's world, in today's democracy. Today, the real life is when you are drugged up, hijacked, hospitalized, labeled as mentally ill, taken out of the psychiatric hospital, tortured, and returned back into environment. Today, it's different. Today, for the first time, you, I, as a human being, have to defend myself against the people like this by recalling the events from being drugged up like an animal. He stated, you know what he stated? This guy was evil as fuck. This guy caused so much evil that is unprecedented. But when he posted this picture on the internet, when it became clear, and it probably was in 2015, that I am not going to give in 2016. Already acknowledged is a dead walking man buried alive through psychiatry. He stated to me that he even posted a picture like this on the internet in a protest against the people who were doing these things to me to demonstrate them what they look like and so on and so forth. Well, a Google makes sure that the pictures like this pop up. They list them, and it's called a disinfo. You see, do you do you see what kind of chances do I have actually to defend myself? Do you see do you see what Google is giving me? Do you see what United States of America, which citizen I became in 2000? Do you see what the land of the brave and free left me with? Do you see now what I am left with? How it works? This is Andrzej Duda, Polish president. Never mind what he did before, and never mind even what he did afterwards. 
What matters is this picture and what he stated in the presence of other people during this picture. So this, this really doesn't matter um, what, what exactly the case is. She was appointed as, uh, I don't know, what, what, what in, a, in a Thai military, it doesn't matter. Uh, what matters to me is one thing, however, we're going to make things clear about this stuff because she was so concerned about her father, my attacking her father. Obviously, they see this, obviously, they see how the fuck not. Their father appointed himself as a god. When you come to Thailand, you can actually even meet God in person. That's their father. He is proclaimed on Thailand as a god. This is not his majesty. This is God. Because God is more than a majesty, you know? So this is God, just as you know. The father is a god. This is a daughter of the god. Yeah, that's basically how they see this thing. Says this is what this is. This is what this bullshit is. She assaulted me after I attacked her father. Not attacked, but I was very clear about it in near settlement Jihovacelo about what went on. That. One thing I couldn't take was for their father suggesting through the police investigators from Slovenia and he alone that he complained to the British royals about my behavior. And my behavior was in total compliance with taking abuse and keep silent. It was the code to take abuse, physical torture, absorb one and keep silent about it and keep loving the daughter, whatever. And when they suggested me that he is actually complaining about submitted complaints to the British royals, because that's how they did. They deal through the British royals, everything about my behavior. Uh, I lost it. I lost it. It's a place here, as I stated, Jehovah about, I don't know maybe three kilometers from here, two kilometers from here. And I did grab him. He started again to bullshit something during the hiking, walking, and jerked up as it was, I grabbed him and slammed him against the floor. However, I did not punch him, not even one time, even that I could decimate him if I wanted to. I just wanted him to get a taste of who is he with? Who is he next to? Who is he talking about? I just wanted their God, their father, to get the realistic taste about what exactly he is, whom he is talking to, whom he is next to. If I wanted to, I could unload the barrage on him. And I did not even touch him. That's the only thing that was. And for that matter, I was resented maybe all the way, who the hell knows. You know, I just wanna I just want to remind you of how low, lowest of the low you are. This isn't talk against you. This is my right, and it's also the right to pursue this on the court. against you that's right that's all i wanted to video record for this video i wish it was different but it will never be i feel repulsed with attitudes like this with not a lack of responsibility but with malicious hopes that worse would meet in my case against me. And that's how you would eventually apologize 
what it turned into more than 50 years of genocide against me. That's all I want to say for this video. Thanks for watching. Till next time.